This is question six of the final exam. There is a CMOS pair. The K is given, the VT is given, five volts are applied up here, and the input is different for each one of the three parts of the question. For part A, we apply zero volts as input, and we need to compute what is the output voltage here, and what is the current flowing through the drain source paths of both transistors, a P transistor, and an N transistor. We realize that if this voltage is zero, that voltage is also the gate source voltage of the N transistor. If that is zero, that transistor is in cutoff mode. That signifies that the drain current of that transistor is zero, but that is the same drain current of the other transistor. In the other transistor, the source gate voltage, this one is 5 volts, and that is more than the VT, 1 volt. That means that this transistor cannot be cut off this voltage. The, the source gate is more than the VT. There is a conduction channel in this P transistor. It's not cut off. But then you say, wait a minute, it's not cut off, but the current is null, right? Yeah, it's null because this other N transistor is cut off. Well, but what gives? What is the mode of operation of the P transistor? It has to be in triode. That is the only possible conclusion. It's not cut off, but the current is zero. It's in triode mode. We know the current. We know the formula to compute that current that depends on the voltage between the source and the drain. We use that formula to determine that voltage. Source drain to determine this voltage here. And with that voltage there, we determine the output of voltage. We solve that and get that the only possibility for that triode transistor to have a null current is for this voltage. S D to be zero. What is the interpretation of that? V out is five. That is what it means. The output voltage is five. Mm, so we have all the answers we needed for this part. V out is five. The current through is zero amps. P MOS is triode mode. The N uh, MOS, there is a typo here, is in cutoff mode. We're done with part A. Let's repeat the exercise with a different input value. For bar B, the input is 5 volts, here at the gate of the N transistor. Hmm, if we apply 5 volts here, is that 5 volts here and these 5 volts there, is that produces a symmetrical situation between both transistors. You realize that? This is a P transistor. And this is higher than the gate by 5. This is an N transistor. And this is lower than the gate by 5. Symmetry. And if that's symmetric, that means that this voltage source and drain or drain source, those are going to be exactly the same. They have to be half the total voltage, 2.5 volts. Mm, we have found almost one way one and V out. V out is 2.5, of course. What about the current? Well, the current, let's first determine what is the mode of operation of the transistor so we can use those voltages to compute the current. Uh, the solution is they are either in saturation mode or in triode. Let's find out. Hmm. For the PMOS, the transistor on the top, the P transistor, the source a gate voltage is 5, is more than VT, all right, um, but the source drain voltage, 2.5, is less than the overdrive voltage, which is 4. So, this P transistor is in triode mode. For the same reason, the NMOS transistor is also in triode mode. Then we can use a triode formula for the current to determine what is the current in either of the transistors one half k the overdrive voltage which is four minus 2.5 divided by two times 2.5 do the computation the current is 13.8 milliamps let's see what we have we have everything 
we know the output voltage is 2.5 we know that both transistors are in triode mode and we know what is the current drain source in both transistors we're done with part B let's have a look at part C in part C once again we are given a different input voltage this time 3 volts the same questions hmm 3 volts here the gate is higher than the source by 3 volts uh -huh. in the P transistor we continue to have the situation uh, that the gate is lower than the source by 5 volts so this situation is asymmetric well asymmetric but in either case uh, the GS voltage in both is greater than 1 volt VT so that means that neither of them is in cutoff there is current flowing hmm uh, that's right so there is a channel of conduction in each one of those transistors let's see for the P transistor the source gate voltage is 5 VT is 1 the overdrive voltage is 5 minus 1 4 volts that is for the P transistor uh -huh. that means that if the P transistor is going to be in saturation this voltage source drain has to be more than 4 volts this voltage more than 4 uh, for the entrance transistor same deal for the entrance transistor V gate source is 3 volts this one gate source is 3 volts so the overdrive voltage is 3 minus 1 2 volts only so for the entrance transistor to be in saturation mode this voltage source and brain has to be more than the overdrive more than two so check it out for the P to be in saturation this voltage up here VSDP has to be more than four for the N to be in saturation this VDSN has to be more than two hmm this is gonna be taking four out of five I don't think so uh, that's gonna be pretty unlikely so I would go and saying that the P transistor actually is not saturated is in uh, triode mode and instead because of the difference of the voltage I would say that the transistor at the bottom end is saturated if I'm wrong I will have to recompute the thing but I think logics uh, drive me in that direction let's see if I assume that the end transistor is saturated I can use this formula to compute its current Mm -hmm. the current here which is the current in both transistors is one half K times the overdrive voltage and the overdrive voltage in the N transistor is 2 so that current is 4 milliamps ah 4 milliamps fine you find the current well under your assumption at least what about the output of voltage well for the output voltage we use that current 4 milliamps and the triode formula for the P transistor like so just to compute what is the voltage VSDB this voltage here between the 5 volts power supply and the output node we solve that equation which is quadratic we have two solutions 7.5 and 0 0.5 of course this cannot be 7.5 I have only 5 volts in the power supply so the solution is 0 0.536 that is this uh, voltage and then V out is just 5 minus that voltage is 4.46 uh, volts hmm I think we have all the answers we needed we know that the P transistor is in triode mode the N transistor is in saturation mode we know what is the current in them 4 milliamps and we also have the output voltage 446 volts and with that we have completed the question thank you very much